everyone. I've got a Zoom class tonight uh, with the sweet ice cream stamp set. You can see it here in the annual catalogue on page 32. That's the stamp set. And then the matching ice cream cone builder punch is right there on page 149. The punch is £17 and the stamp set is £16. It's not a bundle anymore, but you can get them separately. So just to show you, that's the stamp set and that's the punch, which is really great. You can see you can also make teddy bears or Mickey Mouses out of it as well. So that's those two. These are the four cards that we're doing tonight and the colours we will be using. Two of them have the Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana and two of them have Flirty Flamingo and Blackberry Bliss. So let's start off with the simpler cards first, which I'm just going to show you with the cards. When you get your card kit, you're going to have a scallop circle in Bermuda Bay with a white, basic white circle and two ice cream cones uh, with the waffle cones. So you just trim around those and you're going to stamp a sentiment of your choice um, on the white and then you can put another sentiment inside if you like. And then you're going to stick uh, the two triangles like that on the front and then one like that. That's the reverse of this one there and that one there and you've got your simple fun fold card like that so that's card number one card number two is a gift card so you've got a piece of bermuda bay cardstock here and you've got a piece of designer series paper hold those together get your one inch punch and punch a semicircle out of one end and then put a very thin line of glue or very thin double-sided taste uh, tape around the edge and that's for your gift card to go in. So I've used the stamps from the set to put happy birthday. Then this is the sparkle glimmer paper and you've got an ice cream cone punched out of the paper. Uh, put your rectangle of designer series paper there, your scalloped rectangle here with a sentiment stamped on and then stack up your ice creams like that. Inside you can put another sentiment. I've stamped the sprinkles from the stamp set. I'll just quickly show you which are really lovely confetti and sprinkles there, which just add an extra touch uh, to just give a bit more decoration. So that's the second card. The third card is a shaker card. So um, when we originally did the suite, we did have some lovely ice cream sprinkles um, that we could get. And there's acetate there. And these are ice lollies from the designer series paper. So just to do that card, this will be your card base. Take your square of paper and put it on a diagonal like this, but glue it down with only glue in the centre so that then you can trim off like that, that piece, that corner, that corner and that corner. So when you put the card together, you won't have the designer series paper showing there, there or there. This one is obviously hidden. So that's going to go underneath and then you're going to have your I've given you an aperture and I've given you a piece of acetate. So take your Tombow and stick your acetate to the back of this piece of designer series paper. Stick the flirty flamingo circle on the front, stick the acetate onto the back and then take our wonderful um, adhesive strips, which come in a pack like this foam adhesive strips. And I've given you one adhesive strip. And you're going to start there and just stick all the way around so that you get the circle. You have to peel off the backing of one side. Then you can go around with an embossing buddy if you've got one. Um, and then you will peel off the other side of the adhesive strip. And having cut off these three corners, you're going to position it. Well, before you do that, you're going to just take your sprinkles. So here are some sprinkles and you're just going to put them down in the center. You might want to go over with the embossing buddy first. Put the sprinkles down in the center, having peeled off your back there and cut off these three corners. You're then going to position that over like that. And that's going to stick down and you've got your sprinkles inside. Cut out around the three ice lollies from the designer series paper and stick them. I've got two overlapping there and one there. And then put your ribbon underneath with double sided tape and put this uh, sentiment label on dimensionals. The You're So Cool actually comes from the stamp set. So any questions about that, let me know. But that's the rather fun sprinkle card. So that's that one. And the last one, you're going to stamp on the basic white rectangle, a sentiment there. And I've given you these little ice cream cones from the designer series paper. Just trim around them. Start 
just sort of place them and then stick them on one by one just to go down the side. And then you stick your uh, flirty flamingo cardstock down on this uh, panel of Blackberry Bliss and put your designer series paper on top. Uh, before I stuck them down, I actually stuck the designer series paper to the flirty flamingo and ran it through the textile embossing folder and then I stuck it down. This is um, a stitched um, scalloped rectangle and then a basic white on top of that. And I'm just going to show you how to do the watercolour effect. Now, uh, this is just to show you the difference between... You can either use... Um, I've punched out for you three of these um, out of um, watercolour cardstock. This one is done with sponge daubers and this one is done with aqua painters. So I'll just show you the difference. This one is going to be done with cinnamon cider and then when it's dried you just have to do lines this way with a stamp and write marker and then that way or you use a blender pen and pick up some ink from the cinnamon cider um, ink pad. So I'll show you the sponge dauber first. So I've got my flirty flamingo and my blackberry bliss ink pads here as you can probably see. So I'm going to take my uh, blackberry bliss. I might just squirt a little bit first. So I've just wet it a little bit first. Let me just, I've got the right side there. So just squirt it a little bit like that. Then I'm going to take my Blackberry Bliss and just stamp a little bit like that. And then I'm going to take my Flirty Flamingo and stamp a little bit like that. And then I might want to take a little bit more Blackberry Bliss. Uh, depending on how much colour you want and then you can just spritz it with the um, spritzer and then you've got it there and you can just leave it to dry or whatever you want. Then I'm going to take the other piece and I'm going to show you how to do it with aqua painters. So first of all you want to wet the watercolour paper like that okay then I'm going to use my other aqua painter with a thinner nib to pick up some ink from the top of the ink pad and just daub it in like that. And you want to have a piece of paper towel on hand like this so you can just jab off if you want to. So I'm going to pick up now some of the flirty flamingo and just work that in. Uh, perhaps a little bit stronger. You could you if you want a stronger colour, then use some reinker. So that's quite nice and pale, but I want to add a little bit of blackberry bliss for a little bit of blackberry ripple, you could say, blackberry ripple effect like that. OK, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, and then if I wanted to, I could do another one um, if I just put some more water over it. And there we go. And just spread that over like that. And this one I just want to be mainly flirty flaming flamingo. So I'm and perhaps with a perhaps it's flirty flamingo with vanilla, I don't know. But dry off your water um, your aqua painter if you want to get a sort of stippling effect really. OK, so there's a paler one. Now you could either dab them off with a towel, which actually makes it quite pale, or you can get your heat tool. I'm just going to move this over a little bit um, and I'm just going to heat like that. Uh, I've got it on the, the second. The good thing about these heat tools is you've got a choice of um, whether you want it um, a, a lower heat which is usually what you use for um, drying ink or the higher heat for embossing, but I'm using the higher heat now just to get it done more quickly. So interesting the different effects. I've lost some of the rippling effect on this one, so I might just try and add a little bit more like that and see how it comes out. And just to experiment really, if I just turn that around a bit, just want to there we go. And then I have got quite a nice rippling effect there. And this one's dried quite pale. So that gives you an idea. Obviously you can use any colour for ice cream that you like. Uh, but there you go. That's how you make your own ice cream cones. So actually you could make some cards if you just had the punch. But I do think the stamp set is amazing. So I think it is worth getting the stamp set. OK, so actually to finish the card, you're going to do the cone in cinnamon cider. Similar technique. Wet it, add the cinnamon cider from the top of the ink pad or using the reinker on an acrylic block um, and just pick it up. 
and then you just put your cone down and you stack your ice cream scoops on top like that and I've just got a thank you inside. So basically those are the cards that we're doing for the class. So I'm just going to quickly show you some other cards that I've done using this set. Absolutely love it. There's so many cards you can do with it. So here's one where it just opens up. Thank you. This is a slimline card. Happy birthday. Hope it's sweet. This is a fun fold card. Thank you with sprinkles on top that just opens like that. You're so cool. A fun fold card. Another you're so cool in a different colourway. And then this one is a simple happy birthday one. And then this is one, a tea fold card, I'll call this. You just happy birthday. And I've put um, glitter embossing powder on here and tied a bow with pool party ribbon. Hope it's sweet. Another you're so cool card there. Very simple designer series paper with the ice cream and with a sentiment saying thank you with sprinkles on top. Um, and then another very simple thank you with the little drips that come in the stamp set as well. And that's without the drips. A thank you in Bermuda Bay and Granny Apple Green. The lolly is actually a, a two-step stamp. It's got two stamps to do the lolly, which is why you can do the two different colours. That's the bottom stamp and that's the top stamp. And there's another example there. Really hope that you found this video helpful and that you enjoy making up these cards. Any questions, get back to me. Um, and look forward to seeing you some, some of you tonight. Bye.